Well, everyone, I have officially now been on YouTube for half a decade. It's pretty hard to believe, isn't it? Just uh, close my door there. <clears throat> but yeah, I've I've been on YouTube now for five whole years. It's pretty crazy. Um, I mean, I've been here since October 1st of 2006, but I didn't make my, uh, my first, uh, official video until June 5th of 2008. So yeah, that's, <laughs> that's my five-year anniversary, everyone. Shut up. Have my other camera just sitting there. Was gonna use that for my uh, my video. I just use this for my speaking role. And um, what's actually really interesting as well is that my total video views on my channel it says five and a half million. And the feeling of five million plus people who've watched a video of mine it just makes me feel so special it's a feeling that I can't describe it's just one of those you know um, so yeah I guess on average every single year that I've been on YouTube I've had a million a million views every year. Isn't that kind of crazy? Oh, in fact, it's actually a little bit more than a million because in total I have like five and a half video views. So that's like just a little bit more. It's not, it's not that much of a difference, I guess, but it, it, it all adds up, right? So... Every single year I've been on YouTube, it's been a million and a hundred thousand around there. Like, every single year. It's pretty nuts. My five-year anniversary. Huh. It's pretty insane. And if you had to take a guess, where do you think the next scene is going to be filmed? Yep, exactly. the basement area. Yep, you guys have seen this place countless, countless times. But, um, I don't know, I guess I'm just going to use this time to talk about, you know, like my benchmark and, you know, what's going to be happening to me uh, in the next couple of months. Before that, I guess I'll show a couple of things that I've got. I mean, I know I have my series, what I've picked up, but I guess I could show a little bit. Got myself Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. Yep. Boy, the 3DS is going to have one of the best software lineups in, like, portable gaming history. Like, it, it, it just will. Plain and simple. Um, anything else to show exactly? Nothing really, I guess. Huh. <laughs> the Wii U. And the gamepad. Huh, I love you. I love this controller with all my heart. It's like a freaking freaking godsend. There you go. <laughs> there I am. Um, and then there's the Pro Controller right there. But yeah, in the next couple of months, my mom is finally going to be, uh, well, I think she's either moving out of this place, or I'm going to be moving into an apartment. Either way, I'm going to be on my own, so and it's, it's going to be an interesting experience. I'm going to be having my best friend moving in with me. He's going to be my roommate, and uh, yeah, we're going to share the rent, and 
Maybe he's going to help me out with a lot of stuff and uh, help him out with a, not a lot of things, but he, can, he mostly will help me out because he has a way of transportation and I don't drive, so stuff like that. Um, but yeah, either I'm going to stay here, my friend's going to move in here as well, and my mom's going to be out, or I'll just be in an apartment with, with, uh, with him. Yeah, all this stuff. I hope I don't have to move. I mean, it's my choice. But if I stayed here and and stuff like that, freaking blanket. If I stayed here, I wouldn't have to like move anything. Like all that would be a bit of a pain in the ass. I mean, not really. But if I can avoid it, I can. I'd have to take that and all the items with it. And I'm a huge collector. Not from what you can see, but I have a lot more other stuff. A lot more other than this. And so I'd have to take all that into the into a new apartment. Finally that uh finally got this game finished. I mean, somewhat. I'll continue it soon, but it's not on my utmost utmost priority. And yeah. I got this little um this cute little pamphlet. It's pretty freaking awesome. Have a look at this. It's like the gamepad, but then you open it and it's just the beginning flap. Ooh, how you will play next. Yeah, not a lot of people are impressed with the Wii U at this moment in time. Heck, for a few months people haven't been too, too happy. I remember when I first opened you, little guy. Or, <laughs> it's a big guy, pretty much. Um, it's bigger than the Wii, I was surprised. All of you who remember my unboxing video. Oh, it just feels so nostalgic already. Or already. D. D. But yeah. Not a lot of people are too happy with this thing. and You know, just the console in general. I mean, it's a, it's a brilliant idea. This gamepad is an absolute godsend. It, it just is. The problem is apparent, though, that you know, people are saying, well, there's no games. What can I play on this fucking thing? God. Or something along those lines. But, I'm in love with this thing dearly. Still have to see what that does. <laughs> Some more mysteries. Keep it on the little uh, gamepad stand. Yeah, I just keep it over here and keep that to the right. Ooh. Although I just recently got the Pro Controller like last month or April or so. And I think ever since then I've been keeping that on there. Before that I had the system in the controller. But the, that controller is new for me. Pretty much. But um, yeah, here's also another thing that I want to talk about as well. E3 is going to be coming up very soon. And if, any if anybody is going to be irritated and me talking about Nintendo like in a you know non-stop kind of way you'd best click off the video now but um yeah just you know my my anniversaries I do little vlogs and tell you how I'm doing up to this point you know updates and stuff and well, was a pretty big update telling you my moving situations E3 is gonna be coming up and oh my god is it gonna be like amazing okay this e3 and i know like nintendo doesn't have like you know like a huge huge press conference from years before like like, like they won't have a stage or anything like that they'll be at e3 but they're not going to have as like big as a setting will e3 be big hell yes it is physically no but they'll have software they'll have the games to show but they won't be on a stage, is what I'm saying. They will show absolutely incredible games. Okay. Let's just have a little peek through. Um, yeah, pretty sure we already got these games. Um, what else is there? Or, I'm flipping on the wrong end of the book. Hold on for a second. This thing smells amazing. Oh 
Oh yeah. Yeah. There was Lego City Undercover, and I heard that game was just absolutely incredible. Uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted, you. Ha, ah, here we go. The Wonderful 101 and Pikmin 3. Pretty sure these are going to be talked a little bit more. And, uh, We Fit You. I actually want to get that. Walking Dead, Injustice. Oh yeah, Disney Infinity. Zombie U, Assassin's Creed 3. I've heard Assassin's Creed 3 was meh. And then you just got the launch games. But yeah. I just, like, I absolutely can't fucking wait for E3 of Nintendo's. They're going to be showing off the new 3D Mario title. They're going to be showing off Super Smash Brothers. And they're going to be showing off Mario Kart. Like, that alone is going to make this E3 one of their best. Especially compared to last year's E3. Like, some people have said that E3 2012 for Nintendo was just meh. Um... But this E3, Nintendo's going to kick ass. And you know what? It's a given at this point. They need to. The Wii U needs games. It's exactly how the Nintendo 3DS went. It had barely any games. There were some glitches with it. Um, it you know, people thought it was overpriced. And the gimmick itself, people didn't like it too much. Hmm. Seems to be the exact same thing with the Wii U, huh? Don't worry, guys. You see the 3DS kicking ass and taking names? Huh, the Wii U will do as well. I mean, yeah, it, it'll do so as well. And not to mention, you got Retro Studios' title that they have to reveal. And then, you know, games that we already know about, like Game & Wario, which is coming out in three weeks. We got... Pikmin 3. We got The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. Like, it's going to be insane. It's one of those years where the first year just has fucking, like, absolutely nothing. But the second year is going to have an abundance. Is that the right word? An abundance of games. Does abundance mean, like, empty or full? Or whatever. But yeah, the second half of 2013, the Wii U is going to kick ass. Anyways, I guess that was it for my fifth year anniversary video. Um, oh yeah. One more thing to say. Put that over there. How come the new YouTube update, the YouTube One channel, has to be on June 5th? 5th! Look at this! Look at this crap! I'm sure many of you have seen this. Okay? Ooh, well you have certain, you know, you have a certain amount of days left. Ooh, on June 5th, update to the new YouTube One channel. Screw that! I mean, I know the channel we have now is sort of bullshit, but they just made it even worse, because, you know, they're the champs of that, right? Absolute freaking champs of making channels even worse than before. Even though it was already bad to begin with. God damn it. And look at that. It has to be on June 5th for no reason. It has to be on June 5th that they change it. I mean, yeah, it's pretty nice that they warn you, you know? They let you know when it's coming. Just why? Honestly, just... <sighs> Has to be June fifth. Just has to be. Ah, that's a mock in the face. Anywho, that was it for real this uh, this time. Can't wait for E three. It's gonna be Nintendo's like one of Nintendo's best E threes in history. Like I cannot wait to see the new three D Mario in action. Oh, and also, actually, I know I said this once before, but I need to get this out. Um, considering that you're able to actually play the games outside of E3, they're making E3 for the people, as, you know, as Reggie said. In the past, we've focused the E3 hands-on experience on those attending the event. But this year, we're making E3 for the people. 
and we want to make sure that you get the chance to try our games as well. We've partnered with Best Buy to make it possible for consumers in the United States and Canada to experience select, unreleased Wii U games at more than 100 retail locations during the week of E3. So I'm going to be able to go to a Best Buy and I'll be playing some, you know, unreleased games, you know, demos uh, at their Wii U kiosks. Oh, God. They said that the 3D Mario is going to be playable, Mario Kart is going to be playable, and the new Smash Brothers. This thing is going to be backed up to shit. Anyways, I'm going to be making videos of that. So stay tuned. E3 is in a week. And... I can't wait. I honestly can't wait. This year just is going by so fast. I remember when it was April or even March, and I was like, eh, we got months until E3 starts. <laughs> Not anymore. We got seven days. We got a whole week until E3 starts. Anyways, see you guys next time. <laughs> Happy five-year anniversary.